Hello. Album, what's up? How you doing? I'm gonna work on damn commission things. <laughs> hey, Dire Crow. What up, Axel Bottle? Axel Bottle's here doing their best. Ooh, this music makes my ears feel funny. <laughs> How you guys doing? It's Thursday. Means that it's almost Friday. You're only here to watch your commission get made. Hey, you know, that's fair. That's that's totally fair. Ah, I saw a fev. Gotta go get food. Getting food's very important. I just awkwardly carry my computer around the house, so, you know. I'm allowed to copy colors off this one because it's technically mine. It's already Friday here. Lucky you. <laughs> So tired, I'll just go pass out afterward. That's 100% fair. <laughs> Look how weird this is. My, I got uh, old commission and new commission up next to each other. Craziness. Uh, also, why are you 500 pixels? Up that. It's 3 a.m., so I hate it. <laughs> oh no. Why are you here at 3 a.m.? <laughs> Crazy person. <laughs> I'm glad that you are risking sleep deprivation to hang out with me, but also, are you okay? <laughs> are you going to survive? I'm so excited to work on this piece because the colors are going to be awful and I'm I'm so ready for it. 9pm <laughs> here and I'm a grumpy kitten. It's uh... It's 8 o'clock here. So, obviously, since it's all over my page. But, you know. Uh, let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. I think it's at a good volume, but, you know, you guys gotta let me know because I can adjust my volume independently, so... I gotta fix my sleep schedule because I'm visiting my grandparents for Easter on Saturday. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything to do for, uh... For Easter. I have no family out here, so I'm not doing anything for Easter. Oh, I just realized I forgot. Fur on her shoulders. Edge of the fur on the shoulder. Okay. That's like important. A friend from work and I were gonna go to the zoo on Sunday, but it's supposed to rain all weekend and be fucking cold, and that's only continuing to get worse. Because <laughs> now it's gonna be sorta nice on Saturday, but it's gonna be rainy, and it's gonna be, you know, not rainy on, on Sunday, but it's gonna be so cold. Like, it's gonna be, if it started raining again, it would snow, kinda cold, so... I just want the rain to stop. I just want to see the sun again. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to grab the color for her eyes because I can't. <laughs> That's the one thing about living by yourself uh, out in the middle of nowhere is that uh, you can't go see your family as easily for holidays. <laughs> Whether that is a good thing or a bad thing I think depends on you and your relationship with your family, but you know. A little bit sad. <laughs> We've been having negative 10 degree nights and 6 plus days. The fluctuations are awful. Yeah, that sounds like the worst. It's just been raining for like two weeks here. And I'm about I'm about done with that. Like, we can go back to not rain, please. Thanks. I'm gonna add other bridge. I don't really need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Did 
been 60 degrees the past few days and it's awful because the spiders are starting to emerge. It's 14 to 42 in American. Gotcha. Ugh. Flushy lover, I hated that when I worked in retail, going out to get the carts in the middle of the winter. That was the worst. And they totally made us go out and get them too. Everybody had to do it. She goes up a little further on her fingers than that. Just real quick. We have a system where you put a coin into the carts to get one, and the only way to get it back was to return the cart to the cart station, but they got rid of it recently for some reason. I heard that that was a thing some places do, but it seems like a good idea. I suppose you still get pe uh, some people that are like, well, oh well, it's just a quarter, and then don't go back for it. They just leave their cart, but I don't know. Three quarter. We're very low staffed, which since it wasn't that busy was okay, but it meant, oh, since no one's here, you get to go out again. Alternating hours three times a day for my entire eight-hour shift. Word. That sounds awful. <laughs> They take, took 5KR and 10KR crowns, dollars about eight. Gotcha. That's fair. Still, I imagine there's, I bet there's still some people that are just like lazy enough. I don't know. Maybe it's different where you're from, but in America, I could totally see somebody giving up a quarter just so they don't have to walk the cart back. Assholes. I always grab the carts if I can. Like, if I'm putting my cart back and I see one that's, like, in reach, I'll put the cart. I'll grab the other carts. I worked in retail once. I know how it is. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. The shopping cart outside my apartment. Of course there is. Just a 30 walk from the store? Oh no. We used to get, um, there was a, uh, Barnes and, we, we were basically at the end of a big long parking lot, and we would sometimes get the Barnes and Nobles, uh, shopping cart, or not, Barnes and Nobles, um, Barnes and Nobles was at the far end, I think there was, I think it was a Ross that was all the way down at the end next to the Barnes and Noble. We used to get the Ross carts down our end sometimes, which was annoying because you had to walk them all the way back, there was no, like, better way to do it. <laughs> 25 cents to be lazy sounds about right. You talked about about it a little bit in the chat last night, stop sign. I remember that. You were telling us about a show you went to see, which sounded pretty cool. I didn't have too much commentary on what you were saying because I was focusing on not being dead, but... <laughs> That reason big enough to justify a road trip. I've never actually been on a road trip. As an American, I have never been on a road trip. I would certainly like to someday, but I have not been. Someone take me on a tour. Let's do it, man. Let's go.
the east coast of the west coast is about five to seven hours by car here. Let me put this into perspective for you. I drove from the east side of Pennsylvania in, through the entirety of Ohio, the entirety of Indiana, the entirety of Illinois, and like partway into Missouri, and that took me 16 hours. It takes you half the time to get across, to get all the way across your country as it does for me to get halfway across mine. That's ridiculous now that you've put that into perspective for me and then I've put it into words. That's wild. Now that I'm thinking about that, it hurts me a little bit. <laughs> Stripies come down, but then they go like horizontal across her legs for some reason. I might, ch I actually might make these like stripy stockings. I can always cover over the squiggles. Europeans have it lucky, it's no big deal to go to a totally different country, right? So much fun. I'd really like to visit other countries someday, but I, I don't know. Right now, I'm not in a position to be able to do that. I also don't really know that I'd want to do it by myself. I'd probably want to go with, like, a spouse or something. Or a family member, you know? I don't think I could... I don't think I'm the kind of person that would just go road tripping by themselves. That's not even that safe in some cases, either, but... I mostly want to do it for stupid reasons, like playing Pokemon. Because <laughs> technically, I could spoof to, like... France and get a Mr. Mime, but I would rather actually go to France to get a Mr. Mime and then have the Mr. Mime to say, look guys, I went to France. And also all the other cool stuff that I got to see while I was in France, or wherever it would be that I go. It's even worse for us Australians since we live on an island nowhere near anybody else. Yeah. Your island is also like 60% desert that wants to kill you. I knew what you meant. Road trip stream? Oh, let's get, I'll just put you guys on a dash cam. Then I'd be like a real YouTuber. With my weird vlogs. Go to the suicide forest and make fun of it. That's a topical joke from, like, two months ago. You're welcome. <laughs> Road trip vlog. Yep. You called it. Before I even said it, you said it. Pop over to Finland without even needing a passport. There you go. The country is about as wide as Michigan and as long as New York City to Orlando, Florida. That's crazy. It's so tall. You're mostly, you're mostly height. It sounds. Height. I don't know. Latitude. Longitude. Longitude. I don't fucking know. I'm an uneducated American, so I don't know the difference between lat latitude and longitude. I do know the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite, though. I just don't remember the word, like, play for the, the other one. That's kind of incredible, honestly. Third largest country in the EU by area. I saw a thing on Tumblr a while ago that, like... And I, it, I don't know if it's true, but, like... Europeans are freaked out by, like, as far as horror goes, they're freaked out by distance and time, and Americans are freaked out by age. I 
I don't know if that's true, but the, the, the reasoning behind it that the person who wrote the post said uh, had, Gabe was pretty good, actually. It was, pretty, it was a pretty funny read. Never heard that before? Interesting. I, it's probably something that I only saw on Tumblr like that one time. <laughs> so that's probably not true. <laughs> but the reasoning was kind of funny. It was more or less just a description, honestly, of, like, the two different kinds of horror. You know, oh gosh, this box is really old and ancient and it's spooky dooky and, or, or, oh my god, we're lost in the woods and there's nothing around for miles. <laughs> All of Denmark fits inside Michigan. Characters are fun because they've got this weird like camo print thing going on, and you can just like squiggle. <laughs> and then we'll grab that red color real quick and smooch some of that in there. That nice squiggly pattern. done that much traveling, to be honest. My family never was really big into traveling. My sister has been to Europe. She went to Europe for a, uh, a band competition, which was pretty cool. Uh, she got to see, like, uh, I think it was Venice and um, somewhere in Austria. I don't remember where she went now. But um, yeah, she went to like a couple of different countries in, in Europe, which was really cool for her. She uh, had a great time. Vienna, probably. Squiggles are fun. Vienna sounds right. should be it for the character. Nope, not it for the character. Still gotta do that bit. Gotta do her gotta do her feet. How's everybody's Thursday going? Today was a weird day for me, but not overall bad. Just weird. You love geography. Hey, that's good, you know? I don't want to give her a blue coat. Like a separate layer for her, I think. I failed at a pretty much... I, well, I didn't fail. I did not do particularly well at anything except for art, so I kind of just scooted by with bees and everything. <laughs> Also, the American education system is fucked, so, you know. Sure, go for it. Find it weird that bees considered tragic and bad in America. 
uh, to crazy people. My mom was like, yay, you're not failing. <laughs> Go be good at art. You have to do well enough that you don't, like, lose. <laughs> That's it. Over here, the culture is that as long as you pass, you're fine. Yeah. Some some people in America get real crazy about that kind of stuff, about, um, you know, about grades and whatever. My mom never cared as long as I was doing well. Like, as long as I was doing my best, she was fine. But I had pretty chill parents. I know some people whose parents were not quite as chill. Not what I want, like, that. <laughs> One of my species was traveled to another continent, continent, and the species that lived there spoke a different language. How could the name of the continent for the species that traveled over to the... Wait, what? Um, I think I understand what you're asking, and I don't... I mean... Alba might have a better answer, but, like... Like, for my... For my fantasy world stuff, um... I, um, I basically have a native language name and then a uh, common language name for everything. So, like, um, like, there's, um, yeah. So, like, the desert is called, uh, I want to say it's, well, okay, for example, the, the, the Jadoa city, the main city, is called Rorik Recha in Jadoan, but it's called Suncliff Haven in English. Um, I think that's what you're asking. So like, so like, what would a what would a foreigner name a country that already exists? Is that what you're asking? Capital city. Yeah. Uh, I think that would depend on the foreigners, honestly. You know, if the foreigners are the kind of people that want to take over the continent, they might name it whatever the fuck they want. But, um, if they are, like, respectful of the natives, they might, um, they might continue calling it whatever the natives want to call it. I'm sure the Native Americans had some, had a, had a different name for America before, uh, Ye old Europeans got here. <laughs> but I don't really know how naming of continents works, to be honest. I, or naming of, of countries works. A lot of the times they translate it into their own language. Like, you know, if the city is called, like, you know, like, um, trying to think of something like, you know, if you, if you were calling a village, like, you know, river town, because it's a town that's next to a river, then maybe a, a foreigner would give it a similar name based on the words that make up the name. Well, my opinion is, uh, you know, depends on the species, uh, on whoever, you know, whatever they're doing, I, I would say. That's my opinion. You know, if you, if you have somebody, if you have a culture that's really not respectful of the natives and they want to take it over, then they would probably just be like, oh, that's nice that you named it that. Well, I'm going to call it America. But, um... And sometimes they just adopt the, the native names, yeah. I, I would say it depends on, I would say it depends on your species. 
whoever it is that's, that's doing the thing. You know, are they, the, are they the kind of species that would rip the name and just not care? Or are they the kind of species that would be respectful and leave it, how you know, leave it with the... Or maybe not even respectful. Maybe they just like the name and adopt the native language. I would say it depends. I don't know which one of your species you're referring to, and, and you haven't... I don't know if you've developed their, like, personalities or, like, lifestyles enough to maybe make that decision. I don't know. That would be my thought, though. Peking, Beijing is a fun example because Peking was what the Europeans thought it was called, but they misheard the Chinese saying Beijing. There you go. Yeah. I would say it depends on the context. I, I would say contact, uh, contact, context, context is, is important, uh, too. Are, are they gonna, are, have they misheard the name, or have they decided that, well, too bad, so sad, this is our country now, or do they say, oh, okay, this is the name of your country, cool, I'm gonna call it by its name, you know, I think it, I think it depends, I would say. Thought on, on the situation. I'm gonna make this not this color. Fine. Thanks. Great plan. Galvarians come over to the Cargian lizard continent. Gotcha. Do your continents have names in the native languages yet? Like, do you know what do you know what the Alvarian country is called? Or not the Alvarian, um, the, the Cargian country is called. Okay. I would come up with the names first. I think names are important. I think, you know, getting the name is important. Um, and then once you have that, you can decide what the Alvarians would have called Cargian country, you know? You know, what do the Cargians call it, and then what do the Alvarians call it? They could call it, they could potentially be calling it the exact same thing, but, you know, you have to decide, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, Alright, blue stockings it is. Exactly no sense, but <laughs> I'll be darned if I don't do it anyway. I'm in trouble thinking of how bird species language would be. Um, I mean, if you want to look at my Jadoa sheet, um, the phonetics in there, I took out any words they wouldn't be able to say. Try going through the alphabet and saying letters without moving your lips. Because if, you're, if your birds are going to have beaks, then they might have some trouble with certain words. Birds can't... Um, Dyer, I think, was, was talking about this the other night. Um, that... Dyer? Somebody, somebody, somebody was telling me letters that birds are not good at. Uh, birds can't say letters like B. Uh, birds can't really say... I mean, they, they can mimic it, but the, a, a B is not a sound that they can normally make. Um, they have trouble with P because you have to, you know, put your lips together for a P. They have trouble with, um, we 
I remember I remember in kindergarten we learned it was A E I O U and sometimes Y. Was how I remember it. That we were kind of taught that sometimes Y is a vowel and sometimes it isn't. Depends on where it is, which is really a confusing way to teach kids things. Um, but what else did you expect from ye old America? We're fucking idiots. <laughs> Birds ain't got no lips. Word up. Oh, actually, maybe it was Arenas. So one of you guys was telling me what letters they can't say. Yeah, what sounds do they make? How do they, you know, what syllables? Yep. Everything Aubrey saying, yep. I was always taught A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y were the vowels. Sometimes Y was a vowel, but not all the time. J and CH. Yeah, they're stupid. Dumb letters. <laughs> Why is it dumb letter? Yeah, I would decide on how they talk first. My thought. It's, uh, it's in the art share. Wanna look it up? I mean, I can grab the link for you, but you're into it. But it, sh it should be in the art share. It's been in the art share for a little while. Realize I forgot. I could see, I could see uh, soft F sound. Level with TH. How do you, oh, how do you do the TH? No one has mentioned my pronunciation being wonky at your well, your typing is fine, so I have no I have uh I have no opinion on your on your writing <laughs> or on your speech because I can only see your writing. There, in case you guys don't feel like looking for it, there you go. That's the link to my sheet for the Jadoa. The Jadoa language has changed over time, uh, and my languages aren't even like real, just to be honest. They're dumb ciphers, but I'm also a loser who doesn't understand how other languages work, so I did my best. <laughs> my great aunt's German friends all say it with a hard T. I actually have a 100% American friend who can't say birthday and will only say birthday. My grandma does, um, she does library instead of library. She won't do the R in library for some reason. And it's really funny. It it, it endlessly amuses me. <laughs> Grandma, she's great. I'm gonna go to the library. What color should we make the guitar? Neon. Our strings, I just want to guitar itself. Well, I imagine the neck kind of has to stay color. I feel like a yellow. I'm afraid yellow is going to get lost. Maybe this, like, saturated yellow? Gross saturated yellow. Storm made me late. Oh no. Well, we're here. <laughs> Later. 
I like the dark. Okay. Part of it. <laughs> I just completely missed a portion of the guitar that I had highlighted. <laughs> Rips. Garbage. Well, you're here now, and that's what matters. Welcome to the stream. Lurk. Lurk away. Lurk away, friendo. We'll be here. Pansexual guitar. Aw, yeah. I guess we'll make the middle of that pink. Probably put strings on this thing, huh? That's probably a good plan. That's something I should do. <laughs> Hey, we gotta turn off the shape dynamic. <laughs> What's up, stop sign? You ask that question. Always ask questions. I love the drawing colors, too. They're so great. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with the colors on this, to be honest, because it looks so awkward. <laughs> Sent you a thing in the DM. Okay, I shall do. So I'll check it out in a minute. I should check it out when I have a moment. The colors are dumb and bright, and I love it. <laughs> of course, I fucked up the strings somewhere along the lines here. <laughs> probably because the guitar is in perspective and I'm not paying attention to the perspective. That's probably something I should fix real quick. There we go. Better. <laughs> How do people learn a language they've never heard before? Um, that's a thing question. Uh, what do you mean? Like, like just read it? Like never heard spoken? Um, you fuck up the pronunciation a lot, I imagine. <laughs> oh, you mean like... Like, learn a new language, like, from scratch. Like, you've met somebody who doesn't speak the same language as you, and you don't see, um, speak the same as them. Uh, so here's how it goes. Ready? So, um, you know, you, you, you've you just gotten to America, and the uh, Native Americans don't speak English, and or whatever language, I guess it was English, and you don't speak their language, and so you point at a thing, and you go, um... You point at an apple, and you say apple, and then they point at the same apple, and they call it something different. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah, you point to tree, and they go tree, and the, you know, you say tree, and then they point to the tree and go, irt. That's it. You lose. And then you just don't know how to pronounce things, and you just suck at pronunciation forever. <laughs> I don't remember how you say Menzana? I don't remember how you say it in Spanish. I'm not good at languages, but that's how you do it. That's how it works. That's why, um, in my, my, in, for Lorhandel, um, Jadoa pronounced things weird, because, um, somebody will, like, teach them to say a thing, and then they will say it the way you pronounced it, so if you pronounce something dumb, they will just think that's the way it's pronounced forever. Jadoa are cute and stupid. <laughs> you know, 
years ago, I would not have known how to draw a guitar, and I'm still not sure I know how to go draw a guitar, but now I at least know how to string a guitar, so I know how to string a guitar, I should say. Doe are sweet and innocent and believe everything you say. Yep. You pronounce things with a funny accent, they will continue to always pronounce it with a funny accent. <laughs> They're dumb, <laughs> goofy, and cute. The hand looks off somehow, and I don't know why. Well. Which one? This one? Probably because the fingers are not in perspective. Uh, the fingers are um, in perspective. They're, like, tucked underneath. I, I could probably help it by um, putting this finger down a little bit. Like, if this one was like this. But, I mean, that's... What, uh, repeat how, what, you could just scroll up, Aubrielle's answer was really good. The person, you, you point at the tr you point at a tree, and you tell them that that is a tree, and then they point at the same tree, and tell you how they pronounce the tree, and that's literally how it works. You know, you, you point at an apple, and say apple, and a Spanish person points at the same apple, and says manzana. And that, that's, and now you know that that's the word for, for apple. And just over time... You figure out how language works. I pronounce lasagna like champagne. God. Lasagne? I That's a, that, those, that meme hurts me every time I see it. <laughs> I think that made it worse. <laughs> I'm honest. I'm frequently honest. It's the depth that's lost perspective. Yep. I can put the I can put the bottom of the finger on. You just gotta give me a minute to like make it not suck. Uh, a little loop. I kind of drew the hand at an angle where it's like looking straight down from the top, so it's goofy. There you go. I fixed it. It's fixed. Am I using the right word for apple, by the way? Does anybody in the chat speak Spanish? Because I don't know how to speak Spanish. I, I know like a few words. Googled it. I'm I was right. I remember the thing. I'm proud of myself. I, remember the thing. I know more Finnish than Spanish. I don't know. I don't know. I'm fairly Spanish. I can read Spanish, which is weird. I can read some Spanish, I should say. I can't read all Spanish, but I can read some of it. funny on the background. There we go. Okay. There's that. Mirla is done. Mirla is colored. So stare at her. Enjoy her. I'm gonna go work on a different one for a little bit and then we'll come back. We'll pop around like we usually do. Just hop around to different uh, commissions throughout the night. the... I always pronounce it wrong. Rio will post it in the chat, and then I will attempt to pronounce it, and I will pronounce it very badly. <laughs> uh, 
Austrian's a dialect of German. Well, there you go. Um, I always pronounce it wrong. It's Frillian? Frillian? I always want to say Frillian because she's got a frill on her head, but I think you told me that was wrong. I actually think I'm, now that I'm looking at the word, I, I'm realizing how completely out of order I'm pronouncing the, all the letters. I've got all the letters out of order. I just realized how badly I've pronounce, been pronouncing the species name all this time. It's weird because up until I started streaming, I haven't actually had to pronounce any of your characters' names out loud. Byrillin. Byrillin. Okay. I will definite... Fyreland? No, I don't think that's right. Fyreland. Okay. I will try to remember that, but I will probably pronounce it wrong again, and I will just try my best. Fyreland. It just occurred to me that I've never actually had to say any of your characters' names out loud, so now that like, I'm doing it on stream all the time, it's like... Wait. <laughs> How do you pronounce this character's name? I've been pronouncing it Marilla before, but it's Mirla. <laughs> and now that, now that I know it's Mirla, I look at the name and I'm like... Yes. Why was I pronouncing it the other way? I mean, same tone, yeah. Not Merla? Oh, I'm actually getting it wrong. <laughs> Merla. I think I was pronouncing- okay, well, I'm still wrong. <laughs> Character names! I do not remember your character's name. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what your character's name is. I have already forgotten. <laughs> I'm just- I'm on a roll of not being able to pronounce things correctly tonight, so... Just- uh, no, I, I actually don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I'm not even gonna try to remember it. I just- no, I don't. <laughs> I am changing that shadow color in a minute. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is it, uh... Uh... Tmo? Tmomus? Tmomus? Is that his name? I got it right. <laughs> I'm gonna continue my trend of pronouncing the letters out of order because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Your character's name's Tmomus now. I've changed his name. <laughs> I know it's tough. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I'm a little bit stupid, but I'm not that stupid. <laughs> ah, yes. Very much blue. Blue is good. Blue is a good color to hear. Thomas. Anybody else want me to pronounce anything else stupid so that I can look like a fool? Because I am a fool of a took, so, you know. Feel like that I don't know what the A with the little accent on top of it means. <laughs> but I'm gonna use my context clues. Uh is it Ackersburger? Sounds wrong. <laughs> is it, uh... Wait, why did I challenge you guys to make me say things wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it with a dumb American accent too, that's the other thing. Like, I'm sure that the burger sound. It's an A and an O mixed into a single letter.
My, yeah, I mean, feel feel free to reference it a little bit for um, for like what letters you want to use. Um, like, I I m the Jadoa language started out with just letters, and then I changed it to phonetics. But I identify the phonetics in my font using capital and lowercase letters, um, like a capital, like depending on which case you're using, because they don't have capital and lowercase letters. So when I use my font, it's like a capital O is one pronunciation and a lowercase O is a different, is the diff, is the other pronunciation. Like one is, you know, one is O and one is O, you know, so. It's an A and an O mixed into a single letter. The R is a unique sound that only exists in a few languages. The G is soft and the E is more of an E than a normal E. So it's... How... Wait, uh... Ow, kes... Berga? Get Google Translate to pronounce it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it on my other because it's gonna pick up. <laughs> Watch how off I'm gonna be. I'm ready. Oh, Border Free, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Axis deck. Take this back, yeah. Gotta turn off the Gilded Engineering, I'm sorry. Please stop for a moment. Walk this back, yeah. Hear that? <laughs> Where's the English UA pronunciation? Because I can't get it to come up on Google. Um. Akersberga, Sweden. Akersberga, Sweden. Akersberga, Sweden. Yeah, I, I know. I didn't realize it was so quiet. I have the music. I have it turned down because the music's loud. Akersberga, Sweden. Akersberga, Sweden. Akersberga, Sweden. Swedish voice? Let me look for this one. English messes it up. Yep. I can spell it, yeah. Sweet. It's like so fucking quiet. Holy. Okay, spell it, yeah. God. Okay, hang on. All right, I've, I've got Google Translate. I've got, uh,. I was stopping by, probably watch some other time. Have a good night. Hey, glad you can stop by for a little bit anyway. I stream uh, most nights at 8 o'clock, so, you know, I'll be around. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be around when you're around. I just dropped my stylus, but thanks. Ackersburga. Wow, that sounds awful when you switch it into English. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow, Jesus Christ. All right. Is that loud enough for you guys? I can't make it any louder, so unfortunately, that's what you got, but... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ukersberia? Sounds better. Ukersberia. Akersberga. <laughs> Fucking English. Uh, now that I know that this is how it's pronounced. Ukersberia. Akersberga. Akersberga. Ukersberia. Robotic, but correct. <laughs> correct? Ukersberia. Akersberga. Not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I I speak English and it hurts me. <laughs> the the amount of cringe I get from hearing that pronunciation because I know it's wrong. Ukersberia. <laughs> Ukersberia. Better. All right. Well, I learned some things. Well, there you go. Now you know. And that's a lesson in how to pronounce and how to not pronounce your hometown. <laughs> 
Uh, glad I could help, stop sign. Have a good night. Plus, she'd love her knows a few Swedish words. Well, hey. Owl, cheese, and bumblebee. Those are those are all very important words that you should know. <laughs> bumblebee and owl. Lemon. You forgot lemon. Oh no, how dare you forget lemon. Lemon is very important. That's maybe the most important word you need to know. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Tired of looking at it in blue. <laughs> I like languages a lot, and I find them very fascinating. I just wish I didn't suck so much at them. <laughs> I'm really bad at other languages. That's one thing I've never really... That was maybe my least favorite subject when I was in school. Because America's dumb, and they don't teach us other languages from a young age. So the first time I started learning any other languages was in, um, was in high school. And I just could not pick up Spanish. Especially the way they were teaching it to us. I just could not get it. I picked up a little bit of Spanish on Duolingo. And it's a little better, but... I'm still not that good at it. America's just dumb. I love America. I love... But I also hate it. I don't even know that I love it anymore. <laughs> It makes me hurt. <laughs> Friar! What up, friend? I'm shading. Finding white light. We're making fun of how badly I pronounce things. <laughs> Makes, uh, makes it really obvious how badly I pronounce some of my own characters, though. Like, now I feel like I should think about, like, better pronunciations for my Jadoan words. Can you make the little hair tie on the braid black or something? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna do that. I was gonna leave it, but after I shaded it, I realized it didn't look good. <laughs> Did a big clean today and found out I've locked- they've locked the dumpsters again? Oh no. Why did they lock the dumpsters? Glad that uh, my apartment complex doesn't do that. We have dumpster divers. Why do they care? <laughs> it's all going to the trash anyway. <laughs> Why does anybody care? <laughs> it's all going to the dump. I, I guess. I guess if somebody's making a big mess, I can see it. But like, fucking cares. We have more trouble at my apartment complex with people, like, not... I think they just chuck it over the wall to the dumpster, because our dumpsters are in these little, like, fences to make sure you can't see them from the street, because they're gross. But people, I think, just chuck them over the wall, because sometimes you'll find, like, split-open bags just on the ground. Like, obviously, somebody did not feel like cleaning up. <laughs>
snip the lock. There you go. People rate our trash, but we don't give a fuck. God, people leave bags of food waste on the ground. Yes. And I live in an area with, like, raccoons and shit, so you find, like, animals all over the place. There's just constantly, like, foxes and stuff in the neighborhood. Because the raccoons come down here. I can't put my trash out on the, out, like, out on the step before I, like... Because I, what I was doing when I first moved here was I was just, you know, if I had a trash bag that needed to go out but it was late at night, I would just, you know, put it out outside on the step. And then in the morning when I got ready to go for work, I would just take the bag with me to the dumpster on the way to my car. But, like, <laughs> I can't do that because even though I'm on the second floor, the raccoons will come up here and, and bust open my, my trash bags. I learned that the hard way. One of my neighbors, I woke up, my neighbor across the hall, I woke up the one morning and he was out there cleaning up his trash and I was like, what happened? And he, w he was like, oh, the raccoons came up here. Don't leave your trash outside, apparently. <laughs> there aren't those ra raccoons this far north, yep. Raccoons are pricks, they are. Cute. But mean. They're not even nice animals, they're just... They're just mean. <laughs> bit it's a little bit light what are you doing brain <laughs> nope I've reached the point where I'm just staring into the void well I'm nearly done with your thing and then you can go to bed <laughs> I assume that that's the only reason you're still here. Gonna soften up a couple of spots and then get the uh, uh, get the get the highlights on and then he'll be done. This part doesn't usually take that long. Oh, okay. Speaking of improper trash disposal. Uh, dear America, make it easier to recycle. Sincerely, literally everyone. The only reason I don't recycle is because it's literally a pain in the ass to do it. Like, you can't just take it to a recycling center. Where the recycling centers are few and far between, or it takes like 18 years to get there, and I'm just like, please. I want to be a good citizen, but also... Please. America, why are you like this? Yes, I remember you mentioned that on Discord. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Not clear. You're welcome. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that, and so I was gonna, gonna do that at the end. I usually crop the background a little bit, um when I'm done anyway, because I usually I usually leave myself a big canvas so I have lots of breathing room to draw and then end up cropping it down at the end when I'm done. I hate the people who are literal trash and toss baby diapers on the ground. Also that. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least if I'm going to dispose of my trash improperly and not recycle, at least I get it in a garbage can and don't just leave it in the street. <laughs> Although a friend from work showed me where there's a, uh, a trash place, or a um, recycling place, it's actually really close to my work that I can get to pretty easily, so... Alternatively, 
I think I might start doing that. I got I got to get some I got to get a separate trash bin for my recyclables, but I think I'm going to actually make an effort to start recycling again cuz I I recycled a lot when I was in college, but after I moved to Missouri, like Missouri doesn't have like big crazy rules about recycling the way Calif like places like California do. So um they don't it's so hard to get to a tra like a uh, recycling place here, but I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> I always feel badly that I'm not being a good, good, to, good to the planet, but so life is hard. so we can't throw away my trash at random days during the weekend. There's no schedule. Yeah, that's that's pretty dumb that there's no schedule for it at all. I suppose I kind of get it if there was a schedule, but there's no schedule. It's not like, I mean, I, I get, and I also, I get why there's no schedule because then the dumpster divers would just go whenever it was scheduled to be open. But still, it's, that whole situation just sounds dumb. pretty pleased with that one. I think I think I'm at a good spot where I'm good to call it done. All right, so let me just pick a nice color for the background. Um, two two things I have to do. One, holder. Oh, uh, you grab. I'm not gonna use that particular yellow color because it's blending with his hair too much. But I just need a color. Is a good idea. Good deep purple. I always go darker than the character. That's always something I'm allowed to do. That kind of color, you think? All right. There he is. Um, last thing. Just readjust the crop, and then I'll save out a version that's like this, and then I'll also save out a version that's an icon version. So, do not fret; I will do both. I just I like to have a version with a with a background on it too. That's what I want. Okay. Beautiful. Right.
So, fun fact, um, I forget how to make a, um, <laughs> I forget how to make a signature stamp, so. <laughs> I've been using the 2017 one and just making the 7 in This little finishing touch stuff, man. Gets you. Alright, signature is on. Grab my textures and we're gonna chuck them in here. And then I am done. One commission. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so uh, after the stream I will save out a um I'll save out a cropped version for a portrait. Um or for a um an avatar and then I'll save your um I'll save your full files out too. Um not regretting a cent. Oh good. I'm glad I'm glad you're pleased. Um Briars. Briar shouldn't take me that long either. Same, same dealio. Chucking some, chucking some color on there. Yes, go rest, sleep. Always incredible how much adding a texture changes the piece, right? I always forget. Just send the files to my email once you're done. Yep, that's my plan. That's usually what I do. I don't like sending them through Discord because I don't really always trust the quality that comes through Discord, so yeah, I'll email them to you after the stream. It's just, it would take me too long to go save them out now and do it, so I'll get to you. Okay, not not digging the red. Hang on. Nope, not vibrance. I paid a penny too much, needs more neon jarring colors. Just you wait till I get to a background. Later, Alpha. Have a good night. Sleep. Sleep tight. Never let the bed bugs bite, as the saying goes. Or something. I'm just gonna put her on like the worst neon background I can I can think of, and it's, it's gonna be great. You know what I just realized? I've been doing those free art raffles on the first of the month, but this month it's not only going to fall on Easter, but it's also going to fall on um, Saturday. And I don't know if I'm going to keep doing streams or not Saturday, Sunday. And I don't know if I'm going to keep doing my streams on Sunday. <laughs> Probably this week I'll do it, but I don't know if anybody's going to be around. I'll have to think about what I want to do for that. Maybe we'll do another stack Saturday, sub Saturday kind of thing. You are return. We put color on Ryarkra's commission, and she's all neon and beautiful, and I'm gonna put a nice bright neon background on her, so she's gonna be awkward and jarring. Uh, he's colored. I finished him. Go back to sneeze. <coughs> 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 yeah. 
I'm working on that one, and we colored that one last time. So yeah, that's that's where we're at. And that's what we did. Sorry. I got a little sneeze attack there. Oh, thank you. If I ever become a partner, I'm gonna make an, an emote. A bless you emote, because I think I sneeze on stream. I'm gonna, like, give you guys an emote, just <laughs> you can, or that you can bless me when I sneeze. <laughs> I think, uh, I think Nappy has one of those and it cracks me up every time I see it, because he sneezes a lot on his streams, too. If we ever, if we ever, if the Axie stack ever gets big enough for partner, that's what we're doing. I've already got so many emotes in mind, things I, things I want to give you guys. If only. Your stream was really far behind. That happens sometimes. That's been happening. I, I, it, I've seen it happen in a couple other people's streams too. It's really weird. We're probably like, why is everybody saying bless you? <laughs> Just a, it's not just a delay where like you guys like hear me reading your comments late. It's actually that like the stream gets out of sync with the chat and so you're like two minutes behind. Yeah. It that's not a it's not a stream delay issue because everybody else is seeing it the same. It's it's it's, it's some issue with Twitch. Where the um, where the stream itself gets out like way out of whack for like one specific person. Refreshing the page always fixes it, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've had it in a couple other people's streams. Um, I realized that I was far behind because she was talking about something and not responding to any of my messages, and then I realized how far behind I was. Usually, if I pause it and press 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 play again, yeah. Thanks, Axel Bottle. Axel Bottle's doing his best. Oh my god. I was watching Fev play uh, Subnautica earlier, and her bot's not like me. <laughs> Nightbot was not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot was like, how dare you? <laughs> First of all, rude. <laughs> Axel Bottle used to hate everybody, and now Axel Bottle knows how to respond to his own name, so. Axel Bottle went from being very derpy to very smart. He's, he's, he's a good bot. He does his best. You know what was a fun way to wake up this morning? Maintenance doing the sprinkler checks and apparently not having been told. Someone was still here during the break. I woke up to them coming into my room and being startled. Someone was here and me being startled because I'm still asleep and there's strangers in my room. That's wild. Chicken is a good chicken. That's an axolotl emote. My, ax my, my bot will do that anytime you say axolotl. <laughs> yeah, Briar, that's like the worst, dude. Also, uh, plushy lover, I'm very uh, pleased that you spelled it correctly this time on the first try. I'm very proud of you. That's that's. Guard cat was ready. Good thing you had guard cat. I'll let you know.
You know, it's too bad I don't get any revenue for those ads. I'm not a partner yet, so I don't get I don't get anything whenever you guys have to watch an ad. It makes me sad. Like if you're gonna suffer, I might as well get some money for it. <laughs> nope. I don't have to deal with ads because I subscribe to, um, I sub to Cass and to, uh, Vulpine, so I don't have to watch ads anymore. <laughs> Monetize the suffering. I I'm just, I like, if I had a choice, you guys wouldn't ever have to watch ads, but if you have to watch the ads anyway, I might as well get money for it. <laughs> you know? Like, monetize the suffering. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes. Like, that's also called capitalism. <laughs> I totally pay in my tears to watch you stream. Oh, fur takes so long to shade, but it's so fun. whole break has been chaos. Yeah. Honestly, I've always found vacations to be, like, way more stressful than they need to be. <laughs> always some sort of chaos of, of some kind. Although, I really need a vacation right now. <laughs> roommate is on a live chat and it's alternating between silly noises and sex noises. It's also the worst. How much maintenance can we do before the students come back? Yep. That also sounds about right. I just need the rain to stop so they can fix my porch and then I can actually start doing things out there but the fucking rain won't stop. <laughs> I would totally go stand out in the rain and set up my garden so that they can have lots of water but no. We gotta wait for goddamn everything. <laughs> The flood of Noah is continuing. <laughs> FWA? I don't know what that is. I'm not going to anything, but I I don't know what that is. I took the stove, locked the dumpsters, and a head stranger to my room. This is a great spring break. It sounds like you are having a time. <laughs> you are doing the most. <laughs> All right, spoofers. Now. Get some highlights on there. As a freshman, I was the only person on my floor who stayed for spring break. They shut off all the power for the for a day 
So light up the bathroom, some RA hung up a bunch of glow stick. Oh no. The world's loneliest rave. At least somebody had the forethought to hang up some, uh, hang up some glow sticks before they left. <laughs> No RAs equals no rules. Probably not wrong. I had a really weird college experience, so I don't know too much about, like, dorm life and whatever. I had an actual apartment when I was in college. I never did the whole dorm thing. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that, because it sounds like chaos. <laughs> Most of the time, we had to, uh, we, we, we befriended the, um, the maintenance guy at my apartment building when I was in college so that he wouldn't tell tell anybody that we had Steve because technically we weren't supposed to have pets and we didn't know if Steve fell under like we were allowed to have fish but we weren't allowed to have like cats and stuff but we didn't know if um and like things in tanks but we didn't know if Steve counted so we just like really quietly didn't tell anybody we had him and we befriended the maintenance guy so he wouldn't tell on us <laughs> anytime he had to come to do work say hello to Steve <laughs> everybody loves Steve <laughs> Axie's plan commission break. With Axie's plan commission break, it'll work out well. I was gonna take a break from commissions because um, I was gonna have a little extra money in my paycheck this week, and then something came up, and now I don't have any more money. So I might. Um, depends on what happens next week. Um, <laughs> see, I might need a break from commission. I'm a little burnt out, but <laughs> like I'm enjoying these, but it's also I'm I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I just take them. Invention early April. Oh, okay. They made everyone live on campus for a year. Gotcha. We didn't have like a traditional campus. Our school was in the middle of a city. So, and by a city, I mean it was a very small city. Um, but. Uh, we didn't have, like, official dorms, so you either lived off-site, like, you either commuted from home, or you lived in an apartment. There was no- there was no in-between. That was- those were your options. We didn't have dorms. Oh, it's a furry con. Gotcha. Cool, so you'll have lots- lots of time to buy art. And you're right, it'll work right around my- my possible planned break. I might take a week, to be honest. Tired. I've just been tired, kind of, in general. I'm kind of burnt out, just at work. Which is funny that I say that, because tomorrow I was thinking about doing a Subnautica stream for a little while, because I really just want to play more Subnautica. <laughs> so, like, I'm over here complaining about being tired, and yet I'm like... Okay, but what if we stream tomorrow? <laughs> Clearly I hate myself a little bit for some reason. <laughs> I would've burned cool. A non-freshman dorm next year, but it's in high demand because it's like almost like an apartment. Main dorms, half dorm, half apartments, and real apartments. Gotcha. That's fair. Fun fact, I've never been to a con. I don't, know, I don't know if that's a fun fact or a sad fact, but I've actually never been to a con. Oh, what do I want to 
do. Instead of doing actual backgrounds, I sometimes do shit like this because it's easy and it makes it look not bad. Cons are best when you go with people, yeah. That's what I've heard. Other way? Yes. Okay, there she is. Now. Touch. Final touch. A little bit of texture. Uh, Sir Album's right. It adds something. I don't know what. I also just realized I forgot my signature. That looks like eye bleed. Alright. It's definitely a 2018 signature, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, there's your briar. Your girl. Ugh. My back hurts. <laughs> Stretch. <sighs> Good, I'm glad you like her. We got that done and that done at least. Um Um I don't know why I sound like I've been running. Like I just feel out of breath. I feel tired, my back hurts from leaning over a Cintiq all day. The uh craziness that is my life is forever exemplified by that. I go to work and I go to work and I sit in front of a Cintiq for eight hours and I draw and then I come home and I lay on the couch for like two hours and then I sit in front of a Cintiq again for several hours. Start with pink. Not the color I want, but we're just gonna leave it for a second while I do shading. Let's grab a different <laughs> Oh, not color. Don't do that. This drawing is going to be accentuated by other colors being around her. You know, like, like if I grab bright yellow or like a bright pink and do like spotlight around her, I think that's where this is going to get a lot of its 
I think the shadows aren't gonna do as much. Now, like, I feel like this isn't gonna give- this isn't gonna be, like, the big important part. Definitely not that color. <laughs> That's too much highlight. <laughs> I'm always experimenting with Rearchra's pieces. A lot of fiddling with colors and seeing what I like. Color burn, I think, looks oh. like that. That works. Um, I'm gonna do a background kind of in the vein of what I just did for Briar, where it's gonna be like shapes and stuff, but. Got some ideas? I want to go in, but it feels a little bit weird and muted. That makes sense. It's like... the best gauge for uh trying to do here darker color look at one linear bird multiply multi multiply still pretty bright oh god no a color dodge they think the color dodge Glorious. Just horrifically bright in the best way. I just love drawing the kids. And luckily, you like getting art of the kids, so... win-win. Or 
stuff. Oh, that's glorious. <laughs> you want it more eye bleed? There you go. There's some eye bleed for you. I like normal better, but that's a little bit of eye bleed there for you. <laughs> Although, I don't know. The eye bleed's pretty nice. Colorburn does some weird stuff to this, though. Colorburn doesn't know what to do with it. That's better. I think we just ended up back at the beginning where we started, but I kind of like that. <laughs> You confused the machine, it doesn't know what to do with all the colors. I like that with. Look at your crazy your crazy kaleidoscope girl. Look at her go. Uh, I want to experiment with one more thing before I go in and refine stuff. so much. Oh, we'll turn that back on. Excuse me when I'm done. I don't know. What do you think of that um, that color scheme? Rearchra. Um, I had to go in and clean up the shadows, obviously, and, and refine the highlights and stuff, but what do you think of that like color scheme? <laughs> kind of weird and eye bleedy. The music fixed the picture. <laughs> it does a little bit. Jamming out. minutes left but I'm actually really tired so and I don't have time to finish this um, so I think I'm gonna end a couple minutes early here but um, you know let me know what you think of that color scheme if you think that looks pretty good um, you know if that's kind of what you were envisioning I, I'm pretty happy with it can you make the pink on the short writer wait Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Probably more like that. All right. Well, I will get to cleaning that up and, uh, after saving the sleep. Okay, well, bye. Cool. Alright, well, and I will finish that up next time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw you guys a bench and needle, but I am gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. So, I will talk to you guys. Uh, normally I don't stream tomorrow, but I think I want to play Subnautica for a little bit tomorrow. So, I will see you guys tomorrow for Subnautica. Uh, have a good night or a good rest of your day. Good luck with garbage issues, and I will see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Alright, bye.